Okay, so hello and welcome to the second part of the tour of room 202 at the fabulous peninsula in Paris. Just coming in off the hallway, we're gonna walk down to the main living area. And as you'll see these doors here, to separate off the, the hallway and the rest of the main living area can be closed. Beautiful dark wood, typical of a peninsula property uh, around the world. So if you'll see then off to this side here, we've got a really, really nicely sized, very generous sized um, living area. I don't know what the superior and deluxe categories are like, but this is the grand premier. So it's the highest category of room uh, that they do. Uh, you've always got a sofa, coffee table, and a nice comfy lounge chair. When we arrived yesterday, um, welcome amenities included a note, a uh, bottle of beautiful 2011 Haute Medoc red wine at Bordeaux um, and also some chocolate handmade in the hotel with these lovely pink bits in that you had this, this, they were like slabs of chocolate with a small hammer just to break up. It was absolutely to die for, the chocolate, absolutely amazing. Um, we always like to bring champagne with us when we come away to properties like this, it really makes it special. Um, so we just bought a bottle of Pomeray from around the corner, pink Pomeray, which you can't get in the UK, which is absolutely amazing, and just got some ice brought up through room service. We're gonna drink the rest of it later with some macarons. Um, you'll also see there we've got a nicely sized work desk. Inside the work desk, you've got all the different types of plugs that you would require. And as you'll see as well, We've got these telephones everywhere, but down here, if I can just get to it, came with my daughter, so her stuff's everywhere. Um, there's a, a fax machine and scanner, printer, all in one, uh, all there. Now, one of the things they advertise in this hotel is VOIP international calls are free, totally free. So you can call any country in the world for free, for as long as you want while you stay here. What an amazing amenity to include. Now you don't have to travel with uh, lots of different international plug sockets um, or adapters because you've got loads of them at your disposal, all built into the room. These are more of those touchscreen control panels that allow you to access all the individual functions around the room. Um, we found, actually, come with my six-month-old daughter and my wife, that the baby amenities and child amenities that they're included in this property are actually incredible. Um, they kind of blow hotels like Howarth Park and Four Seasons out of the water a little bit by providing an amazing sterilizer, bottle warmer, bottles, um, really lovely, comfortable crib, special Peninsula-branded baby towels and bibs, all washed free of charge by the peninsula as much as you need. So amazing to include that um, as something because as you know, a parent traveling with a young child, that's really important. To, and to do that, just makes your child feel as welcome um, as you. Over in this side here, pull these, we've got a huge flat screen TV, but if I pull them all the way back here, you'll see we've got a 3D Blu-ray player, and you can order 3D glasses through housekeeping. We've got an interactive remote control here, where I can control uh, all the different types of things, such as TV, movie, uh, plugging in an iPod, um, disc, uh, an external HDMI input, or even an SD card. And all of the slots are here for you to use, including multi-adapters. Now, if you're charging your phone on the USB charge cable there, they've even thought of that, because you pull that out and you can rest your phone on there. What a wonderful idea, thought of everything. Close this up again. On the right-hand side here, you'll see, if I open this door, um, there's a mini bar. Now, one of the amazing things about this hotel, the mini bar's free. Refilled daily, orangina, two different types of juice, Tonic water, Coke, Coke Zero, Badwa, and Evian, all replaced daily, free of charge. What a great idea. Because of course, if you want alcohol, you just order it through room service. Other things like um, what we've got here. Caramelized almonds, and also some, looks like some sort of rice crackers um, as well. Over on this side here, 
a standard you'll expect in most hotels, an espresso machine, but this one's actually plumbed in. So they're not having to refill it with water on a daily basis. It's all, it will always have hot water available to you. You can also get just plain hot water. You'll see why in a minute. And then obviously also the different, the different uh, lengths of different types of coffee that you can have. And down in this drawer here, the Peninsula Cups, the different Nespresso pods, and also some standard, um, or, or rather um, bespoke Peninsula teas, the breakfast, the jasmine, and one called Yunnan Aged Pu'er, which I have no idea what it is, but it sounds good. Over in this corner, nice orchid and table. Um, these are the, the two windows, there's one there, and one there that look out onto Avenue Clébert, which is the address of the hotel. So we got a really good location. I think that's because we got a grand premier room. Now, if I want to open the curtains here, let me show you what I can do. I can open the curtains, the blinds, and I can control the awning. So I have an awning which I can control from inside the room. Let me go ahead and open the curtains. So curtains are open. Now you'll see that awning. If I want to control that, I'm just about to push the button now. There we go, and you can see I'm raising the awning, so I can control how much light comes into my room. I've never had that in a suite. Um, amazing. If I open the window, you're going to notice how much noise these windows keep out. So let's look out onto Avenue Clébert, onto this beautiful glass facade. Um, and it really is, it, it merges just modern and old in, in a way that is spectacular actually. So let me go ahead and close these windows now. It's a bit of an art to doing this, so bear with me. There we go. You'll notice the sound instantly is gone and locked. And there it is out. Go ahead and close those curtains again. And there we go. Done. Uh, I mentioned that there were blinds as well, and the blinds are controlled using the curtains um, thing as well. So I've got the, the curtains closed, so if I want to close the blinds now, I just press the close again, and you'll see these full length blinds now start to come down. And it makes this room pitch black at night, totally pitch black. And you would think that with all these control panels, you're gonna see a lot of light in the room. Nope, Peninsula have thought about that as well. So all the, the different control panels dim at night, but you can find them really easily, but they do not keep you awake. I slept perfectly in this room last night from about 10.30 until about half past five this morning when my daughter woke me up. So that's how good the sleep quality was. So over by the bedside, we've got two tablets, one on each side of the bed. So each person gets one, just tap on it, and you'll see I can control everything in the room. I can control the lighting in here just by tapping on these buttons, and it comes with different pre-programmed settings. I can control the master switch for the lights. I can put on a night light if I want to. I can control the air conditioning, the temperature of the air conditioning, even the curtains as well. And there's that valet box and the do not disturb, all from one panel. I can also access serving services like ordering different things from the room service. I can also contact housekeeping and order a bucket of ice. I'm gonna be doing that shortly or an ironing board or extra water, even the 3D glasses, as I mentioned, you just order it from this control panel. I can look at the weather outside. Now, it's beautiful here um, at the moment, but if I want to and need to look it up, I can tap on there, and when it works, it will load the weather forecast. There we go. And because you think, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what if I'm not an English speaker? Well, all you simply have to do is tap on languages, and I can change to any one of those languages. And a really nice thing, they'd set it for me before I came in, so I didn't even have to do that. These are the phones where you can um, make the VOIP calls for free, just by pressing that VOIP button. And then obviously, small place just to write some notes down if you need to. That bed is super king, extremely comfortable. Um, the linens are fantastic. This hotel opened uh, let me think, just about a year ago. 
um, they've worked out all the kinks in terms of the service. It's sublime, it's perfection um, in terms of how this hotel is run. We were picked up from the airport in a Rolls Royce Phantom yesterday, um, met off the plane, um, literally paged by the pilot saying, there's somebody from the peninsula waiting, I've never had that before. My wife was terribly embarrassed and there was somebody off the plane waiting to whisk us off through immigration, bypassing every single queue in, in the whole airport and into a Rolls-Royce Phantom provided by the hotel. It was a fantastic experience. This is a fantastic hotel. This will not be the last time we come here. Um, it will become our home away from home when we come to Paris because it's absolutely fantastic. If you get the opportunity to come here, I uh, do. I'm sure that the entry and lead-in rooms, uh, uh, starting at about 680 euros a night, um, are fantastic. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that they will be just a little little bit smaller. This is a grand premier room, room 202, looks out onto Avenue Clebert. The, um, as I'm informed, the, the, the rooms that are lower down in the property, i.e. the lower floors, have higher ceilings and therefore feel more spacious. So that's why I asked for one. Um, if we'd managed to get floor one um, or be allocated on floor one, they would have had a balcony. But to be honest, it, it doesn't make any difference. This is really, really fantastic as far as I'm concerned. And I will certainly, certainly be back.